Yeah, the race for governor has 48% of voters supporting Greg Abbott and 43% supporting Beto O'Rourke. Just a few months ago, there was a 15-point difference. As for President Joe Biden, 33% approve of the job he's doing and 61% disapprove. 11 months ago, O'Rourke was behind by 15 points uh, to Governor Abbott, and right now it's five. So that factor in the margin of error, that's pretty much a tie. Polling from Quinnipiac University showing Democratic gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke closing the gap. Obviously, this came right after the Evalde shootings. Certainly not the governor's fault, but it puts the governor's, anybody in charge on the hot seat to some degree. The abortion um, issue has been huge in the state of Texas, and O'Rourke has made himself very visible. The poll breaks down both candidates by honesty, leadership, and caring about average Texans. It's not at all surprising that a majority of those responding feel that Beto O'Rourke uh, is neither trustworthy uh, or a leader. Abbott, once again, a governor running for his third term is under 50 percent. That is not a good position for an incumbent governor to be in. Now, Beto still has some ground to make up, but five points is very doable. The poll uses a random sample of over a thousand people. 51 percent of voters think stricter gun laws would help decrease the number of mass shootings. That's up from 42 percent last year. The gun violence that we're seeing in this country, it's, it's the number of people in favor of some sort of gun reforms is overwhelming, even in Texas, but we're not seeing state leadership do anything about it. As a contrast to that. That's why we live in a republic. That's why our legislators and those we elect to represent us are required to really consider the impact of their actions before they automatically emotionally overreact. 61% of parents are worried about a shooting happening at their child's school. That tells you a lot about the fear that's uh, resonating through the state. 59% of voters think abortion should be legal in all or most cases. That's also an increase from last year when 51% thought it should be legal. Experts say polling is a snapshot in time and current events can influence public opinion. It's a, it's a tidal thing. It flows up and down. Now follow the headlines and you'll see how people react. And we have a link to that poll on our website, fox7austin.com. You can see the ratings for other top leaders in the state and what other issues are top of mind for people.